Okay, so here we are back in our second video in our whole GUI hangman um, little project here. Um, so just going to start off talking a little bit about a bit of theory in the background. Um, we are creating a program which is going to have three different scripts, three different components to it. Um, we're going to have the model, which is the data component. Um, you have the viewer, which is a UI component, and you have the controller or the brain, which controls the both and flows of information going between those three components. Um, we are doing it this way. The model's not going to be that detailed. The UI has been taken care of, um, and we will expand the model in our later series. So, just going back over what we did previously in class, um, we are looking at our use case scenario that we did for the hangman game here so we've got our actor who is our, our player um and we've got in starting the game it chooses a word there's an as an include um if they select a letter um it will, it will automatically check the letter and it will deactivate that letter um it will then check the letter if the letter is correct it will display the letter and then it'll check for a win if it's not correct it will increase the hangman and then check for a loss um, and then at the end it's going to reset the game, the button can reset the game, the actor can do that, which actually resets Hangman and they choose a new word. So, what's that look like in our activity diagram? Um, just going in again, we start here, we come down, we load the words, we choose a random word, uh, we count the characters in that word because we need to have those number of dashes there, we need to display the dashes, we need to get a letter from the player, we check the letter, if it's correct, it's um, Check, you reveal the letter and then you see is there any empty letters is there any dashes left in that list if there is no dashes left then display a win um, and if there is dashes left then you just go back here and you deactivate that letter and go back and get another letter again if um, the new another letter they check the letter if it's incorrect increases the hangman is the hangman complete um, if the hangman is complete you display a loss message otherwise Deactivate the letter and go back. And then when you either display a win or display a loss, you then reset the game and they come back again and choose a random word. So that is our activity diagram. The last one we want to look at then is our use case, our, our class diagram. So I've got three classes here. Now the UI main window, I'm not putting the details in that because that's one that we've actually generated in the last video. We generated that using um, PyQt and automatically took it across to, to Python scripts. So all of the, all the functions and the methods and all the stuff that's in there, we're not going to worry about designing. Um, data store is really simple. It's going to have one attribute, which is a list of words, um, string words, and then we have a one method, which is get word, which they call, and it will return a string. Um, and the hangman is our main one, and in there we're going to have data store, which is an attribute, an attribute of the word, which is the word they're looking for, the guest word, which is a list. Um, initially, it's just a list, an empty list. Um, we will have the number of misses that has occurred. And then these are the methods. They choose a word, they display the guesses, display the gallows, um, actually compress a new button, a um, new word button, or we can press the letter buttons. So let's start looking at making those into code. And what we're going to start with is we are going to start with the data store because that's the simplest one. So I'm going to open my data store. And this is all the material before. Just before we start, make sure down here that you've got um, .ven in the front of your prompt. If you haven't, you may need to activate it again or just close your terminals. Um, I find often if you have a Python file up, um, Visual Studio Code will automatically recognize that you are in a virtual environment. But just make sure it's at the front there. If not, you need to do use that activate, um, deactivating the script. So that's um, dot uh dot um v e n tab um script activate and if you run that you will again activate your virtual environment and make sure you're operating within that environment okay so how are we going to start so let's start with um our data store so we're going to start with class and we're going to call it data store and done Radio, and then we come down to here and we need to make the constructor. So this is the function that is automatically run whenever you create an instance of data store. 
So what do I want to put in here? And I'm actually I'm actually going to do save you watching me typing and just going to cut and paste some material I've got over here. So I want to first off make sure I've got a doc string at the beginning here explaining what's actually happening. So this initializes the data store by reading a dictionary file and adding each word into that list. So basically that's all I need to do is just open the dictionary style and then read the actual the dictionary or the, the text file, the content of the text file into a list. Um, so I'm going to say with open the actual file is dictionary.txt and I'm going to call that as word file. So I'm opening this file just here. Um, where is it? Dictionary.txt. It's in the same directory as my um, as my data store file, so I don't have to put any path in there. It's the exact same one, and it's now been opened, but it's also been called as word file. So I've got that open, and now I want to work with it. I'm going to say self dot word um, words, which is going to be my um, list that I'm creating. I want to access word file, and then I want to read word file. And then I want to, because that's going to read the whole file, and then I want to split on lines. Which means it's going to take each line and split each line and put it into a separate element in a list. So, I've done that there. Let's see how that works. I'm actually, let's just test it. I'm going to say print, uh, not here, out there. Print um, self.word words okay and now I'm also going to make a little file here which can be my little test file it's really helpful when you're going along and making a big project is every time you do a little stage just to get there and test it and make sure that it's working properly so to test this all I need to do is I need to import from the data store the data store and then I need to actually create one which should print down the bottom the actual list for me so I'm just going to run that. And oh, why can't I import data store from? I haven't saved it there. Save that would be useful. No, I know it's a little white dot up there. I missed that before. Let's run it. And there we are. So you can see it's actually printing out a list, all the words in that file. So good, I know it works. What's next? Okay. So now we need to actually make the get word method. Um, so we go back to our, here I've got the actual data store, I've made the word list, I now to put the get word method in here, which is going to return a random variable with it. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is, because I'm going to return a random variable, I'm actually going to import the random module. Because we use a method in that random. Then I'm just going to put this in here. Get rid of the unnecessary space in the front there. Okay, so I'm making my function get word um, itself because it's, it, it's this data store that we're getting the word from, and it returns a random word of three or more characters. So you know, make hangman, you can change that value if you want, but we're going to say three more characters um, because you start getting into one or two characters. It kind of limits what it can possibly be. So starting off with, I make a variable called word, which is just empty. Okay. Um, and then I say while well, the length of word is less than three, so if it's two or one, I just say word random choice. So this is a, a from the random module. Um, it just basically looks at this list that we've got there, and it says just choose one of the list and assign it to word. Right here, and that will keep going until it gets a word which is longer or three or more characters long. And when it's done that, it's going to return the word back to whatever. Um, for whatever program has actually called it. So I'm just going to save that. I'm going to come into test here. And so now I've created, oh, while I'm here, I should get rid of that. Don't need you anymore. That's right. And save you. And then I'm now just going to call that. So D, um, print db get word. And so I should just print out a random word for me. Get to the end of that there. Let's run that, and there it goes. It's written, it's printed out the word music. Let's run it again and see if that works. 
right? Conference, yep, it's a different word, more than three characters. So you can see each time that that's working. So there we are, we've actually now finished our first module in that. We've com com um, completed the um, model module. Um, and so that's it for this particular video. Um, next video, we'll be starting looking at um, the controller model.